I'm not quite sure what Funk Master Flex's intention was uh, when he shared the story recently about Tupac actually shooting himself in the quad studio shootings. For those of you who are confused, because I got several messages from you guys on Snapchat, the quad studio shooting was in New York City at a recording studio. That's not when Tupac got shot. I, I, I think people sort of look at it from the same sense as when uh, the, the, the towers were bombed several years before 9-11. People tend to get those confused, which is why people uh, tend to say that Biggie predicted 9-11 when he said blow up like the world trade but obviously biggie was making a reference to when uh when the the ground floors were bombed but anyway i'm, I'm getting off track i i don't know what funk master flex's intention was by saying that tupac shot himself i understand that it's this is an east coast and west coast thing that's where funk flex's brain is right now it's still back in the day to when he was when he was hot I don't want to use the word relevant when he was hot and when he was a, a tastemaker in the culture that's where his mentality is and since he's an east coast guy he will ride with Biggie of course he was with Little C uh, when he recorded this on his phone and Little C apparently was confirming everything that he said to be true if this was Funkmaster Flex coming out and saying he shot himself. Biggie had nothing to do with it, which he said, but it's not coming across that way. It's coming across like I want to shit on Tupac's legacy. I want to shit on this image that you guys have always had of him. And I want to show you who the real Pac is. The only reason why that doesn't work for Flex is because there were so many dimensions to Pac. If Pac was 50 cent, and he was 50, and it was get rich or die trying, and then years later, he was shot, and he was killed, and then you find out that he shot himself originally, and that's what he based all his music on, like, how many times did Biggie get, uh, did, uh, did 50 get shot, like, nine times or something like that, and he based his career off of that, if it was 50, then that would tarnish his legacy. It doesn't tarnish his legacy if that's Tupac. Tupac was many things. He was a revolutionary. He he was a poet. Tupac was he he, he was sensitive. He was fucking. He was a thug. He he was an actor. There's a lot of things there. So it doesn't really matter what Funk Flex has to say. And I almost feel like I almost feel like Flex. Flex has the feeling that had that not taken place, maybe had all that negative energy not been about uh, Biggie shot me, then Biggie may have been alive. But again, that that's not his. That's not the intent that's coming across in in the video that he made. The video that he made is I'm gonna tell you what's wrong with Pac, and then a byproduct of that is trying to absolve his friend biggie of all the wrongdoing that Pac accused him of flex's credibility is something that we've discussed many times it's part of why he's so angry he creates enemies within the industry within people who do what he does obviously he's had problems with uh, with charlemagne apparel 105 flex's credibility is to the point where it's almost comparable to suge knight's which funny enough suge knight had his you know, he had his uh, his Tupac news uh, not too long ago uh, when he basically said that uh, he, he was trying, uh, he was a target and it was his wife and the, the security that, that tried to kill him and then they end up killing Tupac. Their credibility is right out of the window. We, we're so far removed from that situation and from Pac's death that we can't sit back and look under the hood and give a shit as to if, if there's any validity to the story and it could be it could be a thing where he where he shot himself if little c's is there saying that i don't i don't necessarily believe that just because it's little c's and he was basically you know to uh, biggie's right hand man i won't necessarily categorize that as bullshit because you know he's got a conflict of interest he, he's gonna be biased I think after all these years since we're removed from it, there's no reason for C's to lie. This isn't going to get him any bit of attention. He didn't even appear on camera. So 
I have to believe that there may be some truth to it, but that's the good thing about Tupac and that's the legacy of Tupac is that there were so many dimensions to him, Flex. So if Flex's intent was to tarnish the legacy of Tupac, you've got to come out with at least five or six different vlog entries to discredit Pac because there are about five or six or seven reasons uh, of value that Tupac brought to the culture that makes him the legend that he is. It's so much more than spitting at the camera. It's so much more than thug life. It's so much more than getting shot in Vegas. There's a lot of things to Tupac. I don't give a shit either way. And Funkmaster Flex, he's, his credibility is just, it's, it's right out of the window. But what do you guys think about this situation? Please let me know in the comments section below. And I will see you guys next time.